Nichols State University is known for having many accomplished alumni. Deanna Falls Jackson, graduate of Nichols MassCom Department, elaborates on her experiences on campus and post-graduation. Well, while there, I was a member of r dna I was the vice president, and um, I also worked for the Nichols Work as a um, videographer. Um, so we would go out and shoot the different events that we had on campus. Of course, with some of the classes, we were able to get out and shoot different things, um, different events. So it got us like, you know, out of the dorm room and actually getting to those events, but also learning in the process. Um, RTDNA, um, we did a field trip to WDSU and now I work at WDSU. And so um, when I first started there, like I remember just keeping it in the back of my mind. I'm like, I think I want to work here one day. And so when I first started working, I made sure I took a picture because I was like, okay, I'm finally here. Um, so RCDNA opened up my eyes to those different things. A month before I um, left Nichols, I got a job offer at a radio station. It was a gospel station. Um, but I still was applying to different jobs anyway. So I did radio for like maybe a month and a half. And then two weeks after graduating, I got a job offer at a um, television station for um, a televangelist. As a, it was an entry level position. It was a tape operator. That job is obsolete. There are no longer tape operators, but that was my first job in the television on field. Um, so I quit radio. I, it was a hard decision because I was like, okay, do I want to continue going down the path of, you know, being on radio or do I want to switch? And I just decided to make the switch, which was, which was a good decision because um, that station ended up closing like a month later. Um, so I started working as a tape operator. Um, a few months later, I was promoted into, I was promoted to a video editor. Um, I edit DVDs for the time being, and I did YouTube videos. Then I started producing, um, commercials. Um, I also did a little production work while there. I think I was there for like maybe seven years. And so I did, I, I produced different, um, commercials. I started learning how to produce the TV show and well, edit the TV show. I was an editor there, but I also was a um, production assistant and a video engineer. I did interviews there whenever we had special, um, like special um, conferences. I would do. I would. I was the interviewer there. So then started at WBSU as an editor um, for the newscast, and I guess someone got it. Got word got around that I knew how to edit <laughs> pretty good. So. Um, I did a few special opens and then one of the producers asked me to be a part of a special project while I was there. Um, the project was called the Salute to the Class of 2020. It was um, about different students that weren't able to have a graduation, a prom. So we wanted to showcase those students and, you know, give them a, make them feel a little bit special with this special. And we actually won an Emmy for it. Um, I was the show editor for that project. Um, and I also helped a little bit with the producing of it. A few months later, I started training and becoming a producer. And then January of 2021, I became a producer and I've been producing since. I show up at five in the morning, um, go through the day book, check for different stories that's going on nationally. And then I start looking for local news um, to put in my show. I write all the scripts for the different anchors, um, pick out the camera shots. I create the graphics for the show. Um, what else? I get up and talk to my meteorologist, see what's the weather for the day when she comes in. Like, um, I get in around five in the morning, so no one is really there. Um, so I'm listening to the scanner. I'm answering phone calls, answering the door, somebody's knocking on it. Um, but around nine o'clock, that's when all the good news come in. So that's why I start off with my national news first. And around nine o'clock, I go into my local news. Um, because we're getting more emails, press release from different like organizations, the police stations, stuff like that. Um, I once my anchor get in, I sit down and talk to her. We go over my rundown and talk about you know different stories. If I want to um, have a talker in there between her and a meteorologist, I'll talk to both of them and say, "Hey, this is a good story. I want you to talk about it for about thirty seconds." Um, just creating my rundown the whole time I'm there. I produce an hour-long newscast, a noon newscast, and it's a it's a monster, but I get it done. Um, if there's a if we want to do an interview that day with someone, I'll set up the Zoom meeting. I'll reach out to our um medical editor that's on staff. I'll reach out to our financial 
expert that's on staff um, just in case we want to do an interview that day. Yeah, just basically setting up my rundown and picking out the stories, picking out the videos, talking to my editors if they need if they have any any questions about the videos I want in my show. If there's like a special video I want, I talk to them about that. Um, so around like maybe 1030 or 11, if I have a um, reporter or if I have a reporter, I reach out to my reporter and my photog, tell them, let them know when they're in the show, what I want from them. If I want a special sound bite from them, I'll reach out to them. Um, if they have any good breaking information, I'll put that in the show, um, building up the top of my show, creating headlines, um, picking out the best story for my show, like, you know, as headlines. Um, yeah, that's typical of my day. Then once I get in the boot, it's showtime. I, I'm on, like, so the reporters and anchors are on IFB, I'm talking to them in their ears, the meteorologists, I'm talking to my directors, my technical, technical directors, um, just making sure everybody's on the same page. That's basically my day. One thing that I did learn at Nichols is um, we got a chance to be in different positions, producer, editor, teleprompter, reporter, um, yeah, all every week we did a, a package. Each um, student did a package. But when you get out of college, everybody's not guaranteed to get a job as a reporter or anchor. So getting that experience behind a camera, um, also produce, being a producer, teleprompter. I haven't done teleprompter in my own career, but just getting, I've seen plenty of people that went to school for the same thing that they're like doing those different jobs. So just learning those different, jobs help because you don't know what position you're going to land in outside of Nichols, you know, once you graduate. And it's clearly, I mean, I didn't know because I was a tape operator, I was a, a person, a radio personality, an editor, a DVD producer, you know, I, I've done numerous of jobs. So that was one thing about Nichols that I really did like and appreciate that we learned different jobs. My advice is to have an open mind, learn everything you can, talk to, don't be afraid to talk to different people in the field. Um, reach out to people, you know, reach out to former Nichols students, um, even if they're not Nichols students, don't be afraid to reach out. That's something that I kind of wish I would have did in the beginning of my career that I'm doing more now, just reaching out because um, you want a mentor, you want someone to help you. Um, learn you know like and that's another thing you're always learning you never stop learning college is not the end of learning once you get your degree that's just saying that you know how to learn <laughs> but you will always you will continue to learn outside of work like I've I've learned how to become an editor I've learned how to become a producer uh, I learned a lot in school but you're going to always learn on the job and yeah you're going to continue to learn outside of Nichols um, but just have an open mind also um, just you, and when I say have an open mind, I mean, you might want to be a reporter, but you might find something else that you enjoy. Like I love editing and I love producing. Um, I thought I loved ed being an editor more than producing, but as I've learned how to produce more, I'm loving it a little bit more. Um, and just do what you love. That's all it really matters. Like, you know, make sure it's something that you love. Cause if you love it, you will never feel like you're working. As Deanna mentioned, once you find your passion, you'll never feel like you're working. I'm Trinice Cannon, reporting for KNSU-TV.